Hi, thank you for visiting CodeGravity.com. If you're watching this screencast, it's either because you've purchased Joomla Watch for your Joomla website, or you plan on purchasing it and would like to be able to see what Joomla Watch has to offer to you. What is Joomla Watch? Joomla Watch is a Joomla extension that allows you to track your Joomla visitors in real time from within the administration backend. The features include the ability to track IP addresses, the visitor's country, geographical locations on a map, visitor page views, specific types of browsers and operating systems that are used to access your website, daily real-time visitor stats, SEO top referred pages by keywords, block harmful IP addresses, block spam bots, create goals based on various types of parameters, view graphs and reports of user stats, receive daily or weekly email reports, front-end site display of the top countries, users, and visitor information, and much, much more. So why pay for Joomla Watch when Google Analytics is free? Although Google Analytics is a free tool for tracking visitors and site conversion, Joomla Watch gives you some of the core Google Analytics features and some added security functionalities and enhancements for your website. Joomla Watch allows you to integrate seamlessly with your Joomla website, receive real-time tracking information, and get more detailed information of user interaction on your website with the live stats and flow feature versus waiting 24 hours. In addition, it allows you to display front-end statistics and user information, allows you to monitor your database and components, and most of all, it can all be viewed in one simple dashboard with access right within the back end of your Joomla website and includes a lifetime license. So let's get started. This demo assumes that you've already purchased a copy of the Joomla Watch Pro version of the component. Once you've purchased it, you have to decompress it. The installation package comes with four files. It comes with the component and it comes with the three modules that will be displayed on the front end of the website. Another prerequisite is that you have to have a license key and you have to have an API key. I already have the website up where you have to register for the API key and it's at www.ipinfodb.com forward slash register.php. Once you've created an account, then you'll be able to access the API key. Make sure you check your email and click on the activation link so that you can go ahead and grab the API key. I'm already logged into the back end of the demo website and this website is just for the installation. We're going to do the other portion of the demo on codegravity.com, which is a high visibility website with a lot more user interaction. So let's go ahead and install the component. Let's browse for the component, click open, click upload and install. And this is going to take a couple of seconds to install. Okay, now that the component has been installed, it says that it's been successfully installed. Now let's go ahead and install the three modules that will be displayed on the front end of the website. So that's the Joomla Watch Agent, open, upload and install. Okay, the Joomla Watch Users, upload and install, and the Visitors module, open, upload and install. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and activate this component. So let's go to component and let's go to Joomla Watch and click on it. Okay, here's the license agreement. So if you want to read it, read it at your leisure. I'm going to go ahead and accept the license agreement and click continue. Okay, now it's asking for the registration code. So I'm, I have it open already. I'm going to go ahead and enter the registration code. Click activate and this is license activated successfully thank you okay the next thing to do is where it says last visit map here it's asking you to enter the API key so we're going to go ahead and grab the API key and we're going to enter it here and we're going to click store key Okay, and it's saying loading visits. 
and right now we don't have any visits because we have not browsed the front end of the website yet but once we go ahead and browse the front end of the website then you'll be able to see the data show up here and the back end of the website so that's what we're going to go ahead and no we have to go ahead and publish the modules so it can display on the front end so let's go ahead and do that the Joomla watch agent module let's go ahead and publish that and let's select the position which is position seven and the status let's go ahead and publish it and we want it to be displayed on all pages so let's click save and close and we're going to do the same thing for the Joomla watch visitors we're going to select the position and we're going to head and put it in position seven we're going to publish it and display on all pages click save and close now as I'm doing this your uh, module position positions may be different from mine so make sure that you put yours in the right positions or the position you are deem appropriate for your website so I'm gonna go ahead and select position 7 again okay I'm gonna make sure it's published and again I'm gonna display it on all pages and I'm gonna I'm gonna click save and close and I'm gonna do one more thing because I don't want the um, Joomla watch agent title showing on the home page so I'm gonna go ahead and hide that and what that is is that's the um, that's for the spam box so I'm gonna go ahead and click save and close okay and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and let me just load this up uh, Joomla watch and then let's go ahead and browse the front end of the website so we can go ahead and start picking up some data so I'm gonna go ahead and click to the front end of the website I'm gonna click on the getting started page I'm going to click on using Joomla then also I'm going to go ahead and click the home page and then I'm going to go back and click on beginners article okay I'm going to go back to the home page and let's just click one more upgraders okay and then now that we've clicked on that page um, and if you notice this is Joomla watch visitors um, you may want to go ahead and change the order uh, sometimes it'll show up in the order however it was installed on the website you can go to the back end in the uh, module manager and make that change there so if you want to make that change go to module manager okay and let's go ahead and just put uh, position 7 in here so that we can only see everything that's displayed in this module position which is position 7 okay and let's click on ordering okay and then we have the Joomla watch agent Joomla watch visitors users about we want about to be first and then we want visitors next and then we want the user information to show the logged in users and then we want the agent to be fourth and then we're gonna click save so now when we go back to the front end of the website and press F5 it should be in the correct order so now that the module positions is in the correct order, um, you can see the Joomla Watch visitors. If I was logged in, you would be able to see the number of online users, which would be one. Just like you see today, one visitor this week, this month, it's just one visitor. But what we're going to do is we're going to hop on over to CodeGravity.com, which is a high visibility website, has a lot more user interaction, and we're going to continue this demo there. See you in part two.